Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a Roblox tutorial. This is going to teach you the basics of Lua scripting. Now here's the intro. Scripting is not something you're going to catch up the first time you watch this video. You're going to have to watch this repeatedly and memorize each command I give you because it is not easy. I'm telling you that. I'm not trying to be harsh, but it took me about a year to get to the point where I am. And it's not just the basics. The basics don't take a year to learn. It takes a lot of time though. You need a lot of time you know free time on your hands to learn this language so here you are okay so what you want to do is obviously you already have roblox if you don't just go to the roblox site that's the whole point of this tutorial and uh... open roblox studio if you don't know how to do that and you have windows set vista or seven type in roblox studio if you have xp you're still in the old times you need to really update your computer first of all but just go to starting programs and Roblox and Roblox Studio. Go ahead and click that. I'm going to close out of the one I already have open and not save. Uh, just ignore that. Okay, so when you open up, uh, click on this new button here. Go to make a new place. You don't have to do that. You can edit yours if you want. But I recommend making a new place. So what we're going to do here is make a new brick. But first, I should definitely show you this. Hang on. Uh, sometimes people start out like this and they don't know what to do. They're like, how do you have all that stuff? And what you want to go, what you want to do is go to View, and click Explorer to get this View and Properties to get this. Also very important. And then View and Output for the commands. This is also important if you're doing what I'm doing. Um, so if we open Workspace, basically Workspace is everything you see that are bricks, scripts, models like your character, everything you see in game like guns and weapons. Um, so what we're going to do is insert a brick to here, or a part. Uh, to do that, sorry, you go to Insert Object and click on Part, click OK, or just double click Part if you're lazy, or, I don't know, <laughs> just double click Part, that's another option, not if you're lazy. Uh, so what we're going to do is resize this, this is going to be our base. Uh, if you want to resize, just click this, if you don't know that. Or I could just change the size here from here, something even. I'm going to do 100 by 100. You don't really need to know this yet, so it's just a building technique. I'm going to paint it green with the paint bucket, anchor it so it stays there, and then lock it so I cannot click on it. Alright, now what we're going to do is configure with this base. I'm going to show you the commands on this part. So, here is one of the things you have to memorize. This takes a while to do. Sorry, ignore that. Um. Click game, uh, not click, I'm sorry, type game, okay? Game is all this stuff, not this, all th these things. These are called services. You don't need to know that, though. Workspace, players, lighting, starter, GUI, starter pack, debris, and soundscape. Uh, soundscape is your sounds, debris, not 100% sure what that is. I think it's for, like, uh, breaks that get deleted, something like that. I don't think that's needed. But starter pack, that's where your weapons start out when you first spawn in the game. Starter GUI, uh, that's where you get a GUI that starts in your player. Lighting is your sky. Players is the players that join the game. And workspace is everything in the game. So, you need to memorize that stuff. Like, you have to know the exact name of it. Uh, so, we're going to do game. And then dot, if we want to get to the next thing. So, workspace. Dot workspace. And then dot part that's naming this part right here that's showing we're basically showing the the uh, command thing where to find this in English it's like um, change the transparency of this brick to uh, medium transparent but we need to put that into Loa so we're showing it where the brick is here now ah the thing will not go away sorry now we need to change the transparency. Click on here if you don't know how to spell it. It's right here. Uh, and we do part dot transparency equals and then point five. And now it's halfway transparent. That's what we did here. Uh, this is just with configuring with the break. You can do a lot of other things. Um, so I'm going to show you those other things you can do here. First, I can change this back to zero so it's completely visible. I change it to one so it's completely invisible. 
but I'm gonna keep it to zero so this tutorial is easier. Now what we're gonna do is change the reflectance. It's the same concept. Uh, I'll just type it again for you guys. Game dot workspace dot part dot reflectance equals 0.5. Now you can see it's reflecting. It's very interesting. Sorry if you can't tell the game very well, like the frames per second slow or something. But uh. I want to change that back to zero. That's how you change number values. You put equal signs and then the number. It's pretty easy. But you need to memorize these commands, like I said before, like five times. Now we're going to change the name. Name, part dot name, e equal sign. Now this is, not, you cannot just put the name here after the equal sign, like brick. You cannot do that. You know why? It says string expected. And that means we need quotes, basically. We put quotes, then it changes the name to brick, as you can see. It was part, now it's brick. And now, if we try to change the name again, it's not going to work because part is not in workspace. It's saying there is nothing in a workspace named part. There's only so um, you want you need to change it to game dot workspace dot brick since you renamed it. Now what we're going to do is change a uh the position yeah we'll do the position um what we're gonna do is game dot workspace dot brick dot position equals and this is something you also have to memorize vector three dot new parenthesis zero 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 end parenthesis and hit enter and it sends it to the center of the map that is all that is doing right there um you know it's very you need to memorize this command especially if you're gonna script with building stuff like that cause that's just you know naming where the brick position is or we could do size brick dot size equals vector 3 dot new vector 3 is just the pos um the three dimensional things you're doing in law we're gonna make it like a cubic type thing see that that's our cube cause I changed it to 5 by 5 by five. This is width, length. Oh no, this is like width, height, and length because it's a little different from on the, on the computer. You know, it's not volume or anything. Um. So that's basically that. Um. Now what we're gonna do is uh change the uh oh values that are true and false values. So game dot workspace dot we'll do uh locked equals or I'm sorry, game dot workspace dot brick, we gotta name the brick dot locked I cannot type today equals false. That makes it so the it's not locked, so I can actually click on it as you can see. Now if we make it true if I click on the brick, obviously you can see that locked is checked. Now I can click on it to see this. And then, you know, basically doing that command is like just like doing this. Making it true, making it false, making it true, false, you know. I'm just going to keep it true though. Um, that's all there is to it, man. That, that's the basics of scripting. These are, that's how to change properties. And you need to know this before you go on anymore. When you master this, you can move on to the next tutorial. This is the beginning part. That is about it. Uh, this is my brick tutorial. I'm going to also make a humanoid tutorial thing, too. So that's, th that's all for this video, and thank you for watching, and please